Yeah, hello everyone, this is your boy, Yakboro Roll. coming out with too much swag and too much anointing. Why so call me Roro King? Everybody watching me. Everybody looking at me now. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Enjoy your December. 2020 is your year, so enjoy your December. Every viewers of China's TV, enjoy your December. Happy Christmas and prosperous New Year. What's up, people? What's up, people? This is Rocket Man Rocket, the Baba. Everybody out there watching channels, thank you for always staying tuned because this is the channel of all channels. Keep watching, and this is Rocket Man wishing you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Hi guys, my name is Victor Simi. I wish you a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year in advance from Channel TV. Peace. I'd like to wish my friend, my brother, John Momo, and his team in Channel's crew a very prosperous New Year. I'm very proud and always very proud to be associated with Channel TV. It's a pride to Nigeria, it's a pride to the continent. And indeed, we revive that station and we believe God will continue to grant you more grace to impact hugely on humanity. Thank you. Channel Sport this morning, the Christmas edition, and we're already cracking up in the studio. That's because we have Funny Bone in the house. Funny Bone is great to have you on the show. Merry Christmas, compliments yes. of the season. Consequence of the season. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you for having me here. And you we know. also have uh, Shola Rogers as well, to sports analyst uh, extraordinary. It's great to have you on the show. I've just tried not to laugh too much. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, feel free. I mean, it's a merry time. It's Christmas. Yeah, that's why I put too much. I'm going to laugh, but it's not going to be too much. All right. Consequence then. of this season. Consequence, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get on with the show. Funny Bone, it's great to have you on the show. Thank you for having me. Thank well, you. Um, for me, I mean, it's uh, you know, it's good when I discuss um, sports and football. So. Yeah. I like a, it. a lot of people don't know. Do they? You like present, exactly. You're presenting. You know, a lot of people see you. Um, I mean, no Shola Rogers, no, it's Mr. Versatile. But this guy looks like to be a comedian. Mm. But you, you told me before you came on set that you actually love football a lot. Yes, um, so I, I, I was going to play, but um, the destiny didn't work. So I left it for them to continue. So. <laughs> but you still follow? Yes, I, I, I play for the phone now. I am not having that. I'm not having that at all. Um, I mean, if you don't make it as a professional footballer, you, might, you can play uh, exhibition matches for fitness celebrities, yes, uh, matches for cause, fitness because where we're going next now uh, is the exhibition match uh, the celebrity match that was uh, hosted uh, organized by the Asisa Oshwala Foundation that went down uh, yesterday and all the stars turned out comedians music stars rappers ex internationals you were nowhere to be found. Um, so yesterday was was work day for me. <laughs> I had a, I had a break, a break, Christmas gig, mm. you know, and it was I was uh, out of Lagos, came okay. in this morning. Okay. But um, I know that I mean, it was good. I had yeah. my friends turned up. Okay. And, um, they turned up on your behalf. Yes, they yeah. played for me. So I think we should we should encourage you know this things to happen like more often. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Okay, so I guess we'll just see the pictures and, and, and you know, Shola can just uh, come in with your views about this. He already said uh, it's good to have uh, these initiatives. We're talking about the SSL Shola uh, Foundation, what they try to do. I mean, bringing all of these people together, bringing aware, awareness, talking about how uh, we can get the girls more involved uh, these days. You know, when we're young, when you say you want to play football, you get spanking. But now I think it's changing. But for the girl child, there's still a lot to do. For, for the boy, for the boys, it's fine. But for, for the girls, it's still a lot. For the boys, it's not fine, you hear me? For the boys, it's not fine. But mm. for the girls, it's worse. Right. You get. The boys still need a whole lot of help. You know, we keep harping on it. We can't stop drumming it in that we need to put structures in place, you know? We need to create a conveyor belt that takes these kids from the streets, you know, to the stadiums. You know, and it doesn't have to be only football. So when people like Asisa had come out and everybody that turned out, they've come to add something to it. You know, they have followership on social media, mm -hmm. they have their own presence and their brand presence, mm -hmm. and they are bringing right. that to drive the message. So it's not only about the football match that they play, but the message that they can carry to their own people, to, to their own demograph, to their own side of the world, to say, you know what, I was part of Asisa's program, and it's about driving awareness about the girl child and everything, and hopefully some of them can come on board as ambassadors also. So mm -hmm. they take it upon themselves to help create awareness. It's not everything has to do with putting money into a cost. Mm -hmm. At times, the awareness you create can 
start something off for some of these girls out there. To start, then the money will not help it. Yes. yes. <laughs> yeah, don't put money aside, please. It's really important. <laughs> you know, funny bone. Mm. Yeah. You, let's just say that's the final word. <laughs> don't put money aside. Yes, because money is needed. <laughs> money, of course, money is very, very important. We've seen pictures are coming uh, from that particular match. Uh, Interestingly, coincidentally, we just saw a goal uh, scored there. Now, we saw Aquaro was a part of it, uh, Funny Bone. Uh, I imagine uh, you know him very, very oh, well. Yeah. And uh, would we'll, we'll you say uh, he has a bit of a reputation for being uh, a very good uh, footballer? Would you say he's the, he's the best uh, footballing comedian out there? Um, we have, um, I mean, you know, he, he plays good football, I know for sure. Right. You know, because okay. we play together like every, every week, twice a week. Okay. Um, AY2 plays good football. Yeah. Mm. Alibaba also. Alibaba? Yeah. 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 Alibaba. Leave the age old, like, please, well. <laughs> um, who, who again? There's a guy called Aproko. He's also good. a comedian. He plays good football. Mm. Dan the Humorous is a good watcher. He can watch. <laughs> he can <laughs> observe <laughs> from <laughs> the flanks. Yeah. <laughs> Don't observe. That, that is a thick skill, though. You know, so. <laughs> I hope you know Dan is around somewhere. Dan is waiting to take him up on this. You, you know what? You know oh what? Uh, we're already having laughs in the studio, and that's the spirit uh, of the season. But we need to go uh, on a break right about now. When we return from that break, there's still a lot from uh, that uh, exhibition uh, game. And, and, of course, we'll also talk about what's happening uh, in the English Premier League. Join us again. I mean, Aztec has been a key figure in the last six years, and um, she has impacted hugely. And um, it's only necessary that we give out the necessary support. So when she called me, President, she wants me to come. I said, don't worry, send my jersey home. She sent my jersey home. I said, okay, I'll come. It's not just me on behalf of the Congress, on behalf of the family. And I'm very happy because she has been able to impact hugely upcoming players, you know, and we're going to take three football to the next level. That's, that's the promise. We really and truly want to do that because we believe they are the best team in the world. You know, they've won this tournament nine times the Nations Cup. England, they're sorry, Germany in Europa, I think eight times. Then America and Conquer Cup eight times. So they remain our darling team, you know. So, and I'm very happy with what Asad is doing, impacting humanity, going back to her grassroots, going back to where she came from. The same thing that possibly I do too back home, you know. So, but I'm very happy with this, happy with the turnout of my stars. And also the celebrities, you know, I'm on two sides. My wife organizes one of the biggest concerts called the Warrior Again concert. So that's the celebrity side. But this is my home. And I'm very happy with all this. That we are ending the year in a very convivial. So we pray that next year it brings a lot of joy. And this year, all the people we've offended on behalf of Nigeria football, I say we are sorry. We are sorry, we are ready for peace, we are not fighting anybody. We believe whatever they are doing is a climbing block, not a, stum not a stumbling block. Nigeria is bigger than anybody, and Nigeria is destined to keep climbing. And that is exactly what the president has been preaching. Unity and strength, and together, unity will get to the promised land. Wherever you find success. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, welcome back. So, um, two things there. You said the, you just listened to the NFF president, Amaji Phoenix, speaking about his support, love for Aziza Shola, what she's been doing uh, mm -hmm. for uh, the girls. The game in question that we talked about, uh, that was um, Team Nigeria up against Team Celebrity. Uh, Team Nigeria won 4-1. Uh, four, four and so, uh, a lot of interesting things from that. But, but guys... Um, before we leave this matter and go into the serious business of the English Premier League and what's happening with our, with our players, you expect to see more of initiatives like this? Oh, yeah, there are quite a few of them. Uh, you know, Dosu Joseph M.O.N. Mm -hmm. has been doing this for about 16 or 17 years or so. It's going to happen again on Monday and all of that. There are quite a few people doing this, but we can't get enough. We want more, mm -hmm. you know, because these things actually go a long way. Right. Networking, everything. It's a win win for everybody that gets involved. All right. Okay. So, guys, let's talk about something that divides opinion. And uh, yeah. we've brought a lot of people, they've had their say. Some agree, some don't. It's been interesting to get what funny, but we have to say uh, about this. We're going to listen to some guys shortly. But the uh, African Player of the Year Award, a lot of people said, there should have been a Nigerian there. Some say, mm. no, no Nigerian uh, deserved to make it. So mm -hmm. before we listen to those guys who didn't make it, mm -hmm. let, me, let me get your thoughts. Final three, were you surprised we didn't get any of ours? 
Um, so, you know, when you tell yourself the, the truth, you probably live longer. Okay. Mm. You know? So let's be honest. Yeah. Like, in all fairness, yeah. now in football in, in Africa, when you look at the Manes, mm. the Salas of this world, mm. Bome Yang, mm. do you think we have now anybody close profiling, anybody close, truly, for now, no. Mm. So let's not get too, you know, emotional. Certain. So all I would right. prefer we invest this energy in asking the questions. Why, you know, why did it decline right. from okay. what we had before? Mm -hmm. How did we get here? Mm. You know, and I like to trace things from the history. So it's about the Anglophone and Francophone. Mm -hmm. I think for the Francophone young players, the access, the ladder to the success is quite easier for easier. them. Easier. Mm -hmm. So you find Senegalese, Malians, Going you know, to France from, with like they're in France in two years and they're playing the in the league well. one and the next day they, they are crossing over to England, Spain. Yeah. The average um, young star from Ghana, Nigeria, they struggle it's just too much. Mm. You're back home, you're struggling for trials. The, the next thing you land in, you know, France Cyprus. at 24, <laughs> you're in <laughs> Germany at 26. So before you get it going, time is no longer on your late. side. So it's the structure first. We need to address it. Because those that had it before now, can one go on the 17? Victor, um, remember, was that one year in Monaco that, you know, he, he was like the stand, it, it happened. Mm. The rest, Kano, the second time was after the um, Olympics. Mm. So you can't really, you know, tie that to, you know, club, soccer, and, you know, being informed. Mm. So it's about the structure. Wow. We need to go back to our grassroots and find ways to, you know, you know, just, you know, reincarnate this, yeah. you know, this spirit, because it's no longer there. That's right. on the show. Nigeria's lagging behind, fortunately. Yeah. Before we get the thoughts of uh, Shola Rogers, let's get to listen uh, to Odion Igalo, uh, who made the top 10 shortlist, uh, but when it was pruned uh, to three, um, it didn't make it. That's because uh, Mo Salah, um, Sadio, Sadio Mane, and we had... Uh, Mahrez uh, are the top three boys. So then, uh, interestingly, he says he's not very, he's not disappointed at all, and he's just glad to make the top ten. And also, we're going to get to listen to Victor Osimhen, who looks like the guy that can actually, you know, break that hoodoo for Nigeria in terms of uh, winning the African Player of the Year. The last person to do it was Kanu Ankor in 1999. First, I'm very grateful to God for my name to be among the ten best players in Africa. That alone is a privilege, you know, because two, three years ago, if somebody said I was going to be among the 10 best players, I would doubt it, you know. So I'm happy that my name was there in the first place. So, but unfortunately, it's not on the last three. So I wish those that are there all the best of luck. Anyone that wins it, good luck to the person. I feel great uh, to be nominated. Uh, I feel so overwhelmed. It shows that hard work is really paying off. I'm up against a very uh, two good, talented players. One is really my best friend in camp. I'm really, I'm really happy. Also, he's there. But I think uh, whichever any of us win it, I think we deserve it. We have, a, we had a good 2019, and uh, I'm really looking forward to win it also. But even if I, I, I don't, I wish, I wish whosoever win it well. Of course, I, I would love to, to really keep the momentum uh, high and to keep on doing well for both club and country. Although uh, there will be there will be hard times sometimes, and there will be criticism also, so I'm, I'm, I set my, my mind and my my ambition on, on this. So I'm I'm really looking forward to, to doing well in more than what I did in 20, uh, in 2019. Uh, I think I, I will keep on working on and, and and give my best to, to whatever I do. Super Eagles forward, Leo forward. Victor Sime was nominated uh, alongside uh, Ashraf Hakimi as well as Samuel Chikweze for the African Youth Player of the Year. Fonibon, are you as excited about this guy as I am? Oh, yeah. Um, Victor is, is the future. Hmm. You know, Victor's future. Three, four years ago, someone said to me, a teammate of his, Super Ego Striker, said to me, like in pigeon, he said, see that boy? Hmm. When in back face push, if he score. Wow. The boy know the take as he post. <laughs> I mean a teammate. So I, he was he just you know he needed time to play his kind of football, play for a club where they would give him, you know, the confidence to play. Mm. Victor is a poacher. Give him the ball, you know, he'll finish it. I see this boy breaking um, our transfer record in the next few years. He's coming wow. good. Like everything is working for him and I, as, as it's going now, he, he's our he's our closest chance, you know, of getting back this this thing from, from the Francophones. <laughs> shall I, you can just tie the two together, yeah. why you think, whether you think in Nigeria shall have it in the top three, 
that, that award. I thought this, we, I this, thought we uh, okay, well, no, 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 look, <laughs> it's not difficult. On this same table, I picked these three yeah. months ago when we had 10. You guys remember. Yeah. I picked these three guys. That's the way it is. Oh, and the debate for me will be about who's going to win of the three. And I think Mares might edge it because of his performance at the, the AFCON. You get. Uh, he might edge it. But for me, you know it's man. Um, what's his name? Your choice is money, right? Money yeah. is my I, choice. I think he's, he's here. He has to be. He, he, he has here. to be. In the world today, there's none like him. He's, there's he's none here. like money. But because of, you know, voting patterns and other things, I have a feeling that Mares might edge it. All right. And I'm glad that Odion Igalo too doesn't feel bad about it. He knows. I, I like his spirit. He knows, yeah. And for Osime, it's going to be tough for him and too crazy not to get it because yeah. how can you have two Nigerians out of three then you give it to Akimi. Mm. That one we go fight. We go fight. <laughs> so, so, but Osime is having the time of his life yeah. and um, just, I think he has won this one. Yeah, 13 goals in all competitions. Uh, uh, 13 that's, now, yeah. 16 last season. I mean, it's yeah. his award. Yeah. There's no consistency. That's, that's, yeah. that's 20 goals this year already. Mm. He's got, because he scored for the Eagles, he scored about four, then he scored a couple for the um, under 23 team. I mean, he can go on. He scored three goals for them, actually. Yes, he did. And, and, I, and I, yeah. Heard yeah. Bone, I heard Funny Bone say when we're off air that if there's anybody close to, if there's anybody who he thinks can match Rashid Yakini, is this your Yeah, player? he will break, this boy would break records. Mm. I mean, he's, you know, his age, he's young, truly. I mean, young, young, young. Yes. And young, he plays, <laughs> and he's, the boy is, like, he, he scores goals. I mean, he can score goals, you know, with his eyes closed. Yeah, so, yeah. I, I mean, you know, he's, he's, he's that kind of striker you build, like, you build your plan on, and things just, you know, start happening. Mm. I, I, I believe so much, I don't like him so much. Not to put him under too much pressure. Mm -hmm. No, no. And just continue to help him grow like that. I don't think there's any pressure. I, yeah. There is, actually, because no. when you start comparing him to Rashidi Yekini at this level, you're going to put that guy under unnecessary pressure. He did the, the media homework. is going to be guilty of this. I know, my friends, when you start to compare Osime to Yekini at this level, it might not work out well for him. I, we know how these things pan out. Yeah, so Shala. let us be hopeful and let us continue to nurture this guy. He's young. He's truly young. And I feel that he can actually get close to 37 goals for Nigeria. For I feel you, he can. You want to come in yeah, there. I think it's, it's only fair to compare. Yeah. I mean, I mean our team here. Yeah. Would always, you know, <laughs> compare. I, I, I won't subscribe to it. Though, no, but it's 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 come it's on. not fair. But once you do well, yeah, everybody's entitled would always to their say, opinions. Ah, okay, can you outdo when um, Mikel started? Like, oh, he, he's a new JJ. JJ. It's, it's normal. But when saying, who started? Mikel started. Like, oh, so, new JJ. Then what out. happened? But he, that's my point. Give, well, give that's and take. Point. But it's a give situation. Enough. Nah. <laughs> Let's no, just we can't help. Yes, we always do this. Always happens. Happens. I'm not saying you guys shouldn't right. do it. I'm advising you guys to please allow this particular guy. Don't build any hype. Yeah, please don't don't overhype him. But don't put him on. He's scoring goals. <laughs> the guy is building. We've had people like him. He's, We've had several. I can't help it. it. No, <laughs> we have had several. He's not the first. Yeah, and that's why I'm worried because right. when you start to put those pressures on him, comparing him to. Yeah, yeah, Kenya, and he's just 20, you know. Because I was, sorry, but yeah, but I was happy when we, we lost Tammy. Mm. I'm like, Tammy, go. I'm like, we need to give Victor every confidence he needs to grow. So when Tammy didn't work out, I'm like, okay, fine, Fantastic. Victor, this is your, just take your chance, just enjoy it. it. You are the future. And it's been doing exactly oh, yeah. just that, oh, yeah. so we'll continue to wish uh, Victor Simi all the best in his uh, career. Of course, a lot of clubs are already after him and uh interestingly it seems like a very very well-grounded person it's not getting carried away by the hype maybe you like that uh, I'm it, like, <laughs> not and carried that, away that's, at those are, and those are free, the yeah, like yeah. I, i'll tell you for free he's a very humble young man humble like he's cool-headed so right. i i'm not scared for him all right then he let's, will do well he will do well i yeah. think so as well so let's move on from uh victor Sine to another uh young nigerian uh player or forward alex uh, iwobi was not having the best of times Ooh. Uh, right now, that's because uh, it's not been confirmed. He will miss up to three weeks uh, after sustaining a hamstring injury against Arsenal. That was at the weekend, and um, this is not good at all. At all. Uh, funny bone, especially when you have a new manager in charge. Yeah. Uh, you want to, you know, prove Help yourself. You make want to show mind. yourself that you deserve to be in the lineup. But it's starting uh, on a very negative note. Um, First, I'm not sure I, I, I was happy with the move to, um, from uh, Arsenal to really? Everton. Yeah. Why not? Because I felt they don't play, you know, his kind of football. You mm -hmm. know, he wants to, you know, he, he wants to stay in the middle, you know, split the balls, 
you don't want to put you know, Alex under too much pressure, you know, running for the ball, chasing the balls. Um, sadly, you know, he's injured. I, I hope he would um, come back, you know, as soon as possible. And I right. pray that whatever pattern, you know, that the new coach would play would suit him and his style of play. Because mm. for Alex, you must play to, you know, his, his strength. I've, I've never seen him win any ball, like, you know, area balls. Area ball. Never. He would never compete. He would never. And the way, you know, Everton, the way they play, like the old Everton, before the last coach left. Yeah, they chase, direct. yeah, they chase every ball. They, you know, but um, I, I just pray, you know, he, he comes in back and um, and the coach plays to his strength. Because mm -hmm. it's one thing to be a good player, then it's one thing to find a coach who understands you and fits you to the team. Mm -hmm. When the balls are about um, this boy started, Hannah Chubb like, oh, he can't play. I'm like, no, he, you know, the boy can play. But the way Leicester plays, the way they play football, there is no way he, he can play in that system. Because it's Vardy. Like, they all work for Vardy. Kikelechi does not want to run. He wants the ball on his feet. So, to his feet. so it's, it's, you know, it's also good to find a coach who understands your strength and plays. And wants to get the best out of you. Yes. Yeah. Shall I nod in? No, he said it. He said it. He said it, he said it because um, injuries are a part of football. Yeah. So, but I'm glad they've given him three weeks. Because these guys are young, because they have a good medical system in place, he might be back in two. Or he might less. be back he in two. two right. Yes. But... Yeah. but the fear is when a coach comes in, and especially when there's a transfer yeah. window about to open, yeah. you don't know what his mandate is. If the owners have said, you know what, make this work, we can only buy one or two, then he will yeah, his so job is safe, very mm -hmm. safe. But if it's the kind of coach do that wants to like. splurge, yeah. look, anything can happen. And some coaches have players that they believe in. So once there's a window, they're going to bring them back from Italy, from wherever, say, so, okay, you know, you need to join me here. But with the kind of players that Everton bought, in the last transfer window, I'm hoping that Ancelotti will not start splurging. Go and at least not he now. has to make it. He at has to make not it. Now. Not for now, yeah. yeah. At least until the summer window opens again. Okay. okay. So right. from one injury to the other, funny bone. Which club do you support? Today? Um. So as so, as we all know now, uh, I'm a Chelsea fan. Oh. Yeah. Um. I started um because I grew up in KD. Right. So I was next door Nick, um, neighbors with um. Celestine. Cele so wow. I started, you know, at that time, wow. the, the days of Viali, Flo, yeah. Go Le Boff, Jamaica Zola. You know, like the old Chelsea, yeah. you know. So I, I kept the community winning, now, yeah. yeah. Before money came and before we... Money. Oh, you endured <laughs> a lot before... Yeah, yeah. Okay. we suffered though. Yeah, true fun. Uh, from <laughs> Gullit to Viali, yeah. and here and now we're here. Oh, yeah. Then it was can beat, but now we have money, so... Yeah. Now, <laughs> now, money now, now you have Roman. Now you money to spend, so... <laughs> yeah. Yes. All right, then. Um, interestingly, um, transfer ban and all that, at the start of the season, Lampard had to make do uh, with a couple of young players mixed uh, with uh, some serious experience. Now the ban has been lifted and you are allowed to sign the players in January. What players will be on your Santa list uh, for January? First, I would say I don't like the fact that the media is, you know, is trying to downplay what Lampard, you know, has achieved this mm. season. I Do mean, you think they're doing that? Yeah, because there's, there's no balls. Oh. It just feels like okay, it's normal. It's not normal. <laughs> yeah, because Sadi would not have, you know, survived with this thing. Mm. Not Sadi, not Conte. Conte. This man gave us four superstars from nowhere: Mount, Tammy, Reese, Tomori. Are These are boys are that. Already? Yeah, I Come mean, on. no, but I, I mean, so if we're to sell, you know, Mount will go for like fully a forty, mm. Tammy, forty-five. Like these are like these are great stars. Like, now from nowhere, you know, Lampard took the risk, mm. played them, and today is working. If you ask me, I would say they should ban us again one more year. <laughs> so yeah, you know, so we can find time and look within. Because we spent so much on Morata, it just wasn't working. Right. Like we spent so much, you know, looking for what we have on the inside. Because if not for this band, trust me, Chelsea would have, would have gone to sign some Splash of that super track again, and probably, you know, we yeah, should be. But there, but there were there were times when it worked as well too. I mean, you signed Drogba all those years ago for Marseille. Time oh, it wasn't a, six years. It wasn't yes, that's a long time ago. Yeah, but you it didn't work. Morata failed. The, uh, Costa came with his drama. W that one, won the league for yes, Chelsea. Yes, but too much drama. Yeah. You know, but, but, but I think for, for January, we need, we need a creative middleman. Mm. Yeah. I, I, I hear we're chasing this goal. 
Perfect, perfect move. Really? Perfect, yeah. Wow. Perfect. If that works, fine for me. We need some other left back who can play four at the back. Because with Alonso, he's only that. Wing if you're back. not playing three at, at the back, just <laughs> forget it. Once he makes that move, you know, falling back is, you know, well, is a problem. A problem. Mm -hmm. Then the striker to put time in. You don't like the other left back, Emerson? Emerson? He, he's, uh, you see, this England there, he's really hard though. Mm. So, Emerson would always come in and we need somebody who is Stable. consistent. Chiwell for me, you know, he, you know, oh. is our best back if we can get Chiwell. him. Yeah. Um, then we need a striker to give time, you know, a run for his money. I think he but misses why? more than his goals. But why isn't that thing? No, he will go. He's not serious. <laughs> he's too playful. Yeah, he has to go. Uh, I think he, he, I mean, he's good. You know, you can see him, you can see the talent. But in trying to, you know, you know, like execute these things, there's always this very, you know, how do I put it? You know, not, an attitude sure. not suit for the top level. Right. So probably, you know, would you know, he would do better playing for, you know, a Palace, a West Brom, mm. you know, everything. But Chelsea, Chelsea. we need more that because once you're you know, once we're taking off time, we want somebody who will come in and give us, you know, the bite. You know, I don't think you know Batman you, can you do that. You want to drop in quality when yeah, nothing comes you know, in. Nothing Tammy. personal yeah. is good, but I think we need a striker that will give Tammy a run for his money. Shall I try and say something? No, 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 no. no Actually, you just enjoy. You are enjoying the conversation. <laughs> Fantastic. I think he, you know, he. You agree with me? I, I do actually. Because yeah. yeah, yeah, Batman is good, but I mean. Mm. We need something. It, it, it's kind of laid you know? back. You, you see yeah. it in his game and everything. Yeah. That's why he's not starting ahead of Tammy. Mm. Tammy comes from loan, comes back and mm. takes the number nine shirt off you. That was Just his like chance. That. It was yeah. Batman chance is a better off, striker you know? than Tammy. I will mm. say it anytime. Any day. Mm. Batman is better. Mm. But Tammy is hungrier. Mentality wise. Tammy is, thank you. Mm. Tammy is hungrier. Right. Batman is just. Chilled. And so it's too chill you for know. Chelsea. That's according to our uh, funny bone. Before we go uh, and see what the papers are looking, uh, are saying this morning, I, I just want to ask you, out of all these coaches out there uh, and a player as well, can you give me one coach and one player you think would make a good startup comic? Comedian. Uh, okay. Uh, I know player, for sure that... Coach. Or Nazi is a, my friend is a comedian. I know after really? football, yeah, he, he will join us. <laughs> uh, there's a space for him already. He will join us. Um, for the coach, coach, I think I I I met Coach Umduka Ugbadi. Right. And I kind of like you know his sense of humor. Mm. You know, funny. You know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah very funny guy. Yeah. I've heard him speak a couple. Like times. I was I was laughing. About it. I'm like, Coach, you funny? Or? He'd be like, Ah, which I go do. <laughs> what about you know? for, for, foreign foreign managers? Yeah. Foreign. Um, foreign. They say it, Italians are typically funny. I don't know. Yeah, but they can be sarcastic. You True. know. Yeah, most. Of, but I I like um, Mourinho is not normal. He's yeah. He's always funny. <laughs> he's always funny. I enjoy. <laughs> You know, therefore, the players too, you yeah. know, a hazard. hazard. Yeah, because, yeah. you know, back yeah. then, right. Moses said to me that, you know, like, he's always teasing, right. you know, so. Okay, those two. Yeah. Those two, all right. Whew. All right, we're pressed for time, and uh, we've got to take a look at the papers. I don't know if we're going to cover all yeah, the ground. We'll but let me just start with Complete Sports uh, Christmas Day uh, edition. Some of the stories there we've already uh, touched up uh, on it. So let's just see. Uh, you have uh, William at stay at Chelsea until I'm 40. <laughs> this is a guy that every season uh, Barcelona is always coming. Why that reaction? Uh, because we don't give. <laughs> once you're 13, Chelsea will let you. We'll let you. But you so he knows. He didn't say he's going to stay as a player. Now. He said he's going to stay at Chelsea. As a coach. Uh, 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 <laughs> because we're buying Sancho. <laughs> Sancho is coming. And Sancho is coming you to that wait, side. You to can't that wait side. to see the back of so, William. Uh, you're one of those um, fans out there, funny bone. <laughs> uh, All right. right. So, let's just go to the next paper. Let's go to Sports we'll Live. Very interesting. This one, whenever you see a picture of Floyd Mayweather, you know you're talking. Mayweather brags about £706 million net worth. Funny boy, you tried to play football. Did you ever try boxing as well? My, because my brother, I can't. I can't, too. I can't do boxing. And you know, Dina, this guy is not even heavyweight, too. Uh, he's fed up. I mean, middleweight. Yeah, middleweight. Yeah. And it's like he's making so much money, even... Even the heavyweights are not you know, making sure, money. Outside the sport, he said he was going to sustain this lifestyle. A lot of people were saying, you're spending too much money. He said, it's not your business, it's my money. But it seems to be sustaining. He's investing. Mm. So he's, he, he, he did, you know, they keep coming for him that he's not educated and everything. But the man is investing and he knows that he needs to keep the money coming mm. in. So that's why every year there's one funny thing that can happen. Guess, like like floating at his yeah. back. He's, 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 he's back. investing in uh, wristwatches. 
<laughs> and next year, I know he'll fight. I know he'll fight again. He said he's done fighting. Next year, he'll fight again yeah, for more money. 40, Trust me. He, he, just one next fight. year, he'll look for some guy again. He can beat and fight uh, and beat. They, they don't call him the money man for nothing. <laughs> Um, All right. We're still on. Pogba could rejoin Juve in January. Coutinho, uh, Zbel, Transfer Valley drop, obviously. Manzukic move uh, to Qatar in Jeopardy. Um, Osina says no. Liverpool, Chelsea, Spurs bid. Okay. Of course. It's all news people talk. <laughs> all news people talk, though. Mm. Uh, all right. Uh, guys, I want to thank you. Uh, but fully, football, parting shots as we go. Um... This year was not so good for our age grade um, football mm. in Nigeria. And that means that we would have to pay for it. Because if you don't plan well, if you fail to plan. So for the next two, three years, like we, we lost on a 20, no. On the 17, no. So we would pay for this. All right. But I, I hope that, you know, subs, you know subsequently, yeah. we look to the grassroots. All right. You know, bringing these boys that would um, work for us. All right, thank yeah. you. Shola, that's my message. You uh, guys know. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You guys All right, guys. Wavelength. I want to thank you for your time Fantastic. on the show today. We enjoyed it. Absolutely. Uh, we'll be out of the studio to continue this conversation. Uh, thank you as well for allowing us to be a part of your day on this Christmas day. Enjoy the holidays. We'll be back here again tomorrow. I'm Emir Adebayo. Bye for now. I am Taya Salam. Enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs> <laughs>